Hi, I'm Leanne. I'm walking across the Smoot Bridge from Boston to Cambridge, Massachusetts. That is the skyline. Cambridge is in front of me, and you're watching what I'm doing right now. We're filming another episode of uh, the Sexplanations podcast today, and so Lindsay shows up with the biggest vibrator that I've ever seen. The Wenatchee Mega Massager. Construction going on outside, and I was like, "Oh no, we have a shoot starting." Oh, Kelsey, your face is turning red. Yes. <laughs> it's very funny. It's a very large vibrator. It's funny. <laughs> right, dinosaur. Right. I'd let you run point. And I'll, okay. We'll and I'll, do it. And I'll just kind of just feed in right. Where How's it here. sound? Be Beautiful. Uh, Good. Tony O'Brien. <laughs> It's raining outside. It was sunny like two minutes ago. It's like spraying in on us, even over this balcony and through this door. Are we the gonna car? go to the car? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay. I was just trying to eat my salad and then this happened. Oh, someone's car windows are down. That sucks. Oh. Whew. Oh my. Oh my. The work day is over. Got to be on my way home and I'm wet. I just called Sari and Stefan to see if they knew whose car that was in the parking lot that was getting soaked and neither of them did. So I tried. That's all that matters. That car's just gonna be real wet. So today in the mail, I got a new suction cup mount. And it's not the one that I'm using right now. I don't know why I told you that. It's not really relevant to anything. Kelsey. <laughs> yeah. Can I tell you a story? Please. One time, approximately 365 days ago, and by approximately I mean exactly, I walked into a cold stone. On the other side of the counter, I saw this girl who was very attractive, <laughs> and I thought to myself, dang, that's a nice girl. And then, after I got my ice cream, uh -huh. the girl was ringing me up, and then she asked, are you YouTube famous? This is starting to sound familiar. Oh, that's the first time I saw you. So to celebrate, we're gonna go to a very fancy restaurant. We're all dressed up, we're looking good. Mm -hmm. A night out on the town, mm -hmm. to celebrate the fact that we were both attractive enough and tolerable enough to spend at least one year of our lives together. Michael, mm -hmm. happy anniversary. Thanks. Happy anniversary to you too. Oh, thanks. That's not where it goes. <laughs> I'm probably gonna be doing the thing again today that it did yesterday, where it was sunny like five minutes ago and now it's pouring. This is not a weather pattern that I'm used to here in Montana. Maybe it's happened like once that I can remember since I've been here. Also, there's a, a police car over there, so busted. All right, it's the end of the work day for me. What did I get done today? I met with Stefan about the SciShow workshop that we're doing at VidCon. He and I are heading up the portion about audio. So if you're gonna be at VidCon going to the SciShow workshop, we're gonna have, hopefully, a good presentation for you about how audio works, how important it is, and the processes that we go through at SciShow and Crash Course and here with Cinema Studio stuff to deliver high quality audio for internet related content. We published two vlogs today. We mostly finalized two of the different kinds of printed advertisements that Cinema Studios is taking to VidCon. One of them is for other brands that we're trying to woo so that they give us more brand integrations like the Helix mattress thing. It was last year at VidCon that we had one of these printed advertisements and gave it to B&H. And that's what got us the deal with B&H where we get to rent for free, basically, equipment from them for up to a month. We delivered uh, an episode of SciShow Kids, we delivered an episode of Crash Course Sociology, and we delivered the first Sexplanations podcast. All of that stuff got done today. That's totally separate from whatever Caitlin did today and whatever Todd and Abby did today because I don't know what they did today. I edited vlogs mostly today. Oh, today was a vlog day? Uh huh. Why are you yawning again? <laughs> Your phone is pointing at me. And look, now it's back to sunny out here. This evening we have a special guest arriving in Missoula. His name is Chris Thompson. I first met Chris when I was doing the Fiesta thing with Ford back in like 2009. 
Ford gave, I think it was a hundred YouTube people, a Ford Fiesta and free gas for six months, and we just had to make videos about it during that time. And Chris was one of the other people selected for this, so we chatted and hung out a bit back then. I haven't seen him much recently. I see his posts come through my feed every now and again. But apparently, a while ago, his dog got hit by a car and died. As a result of this, he decided to do a nationwide tour raising money for local animal shelters. The Missoula stop on his journey is beginning tonight. He's gonna to be staying at Woodhouse, and he said that he wanted to see some nature while he's here. So hopefully the weather tomorrow doesn't do weird things again. Mm -hmm so that we can actually go out and uh, see some of that nature. But before Chris gets here, I have to take a shower because I'm stanky. Yeah, you are a little bit. I'm stanky. You're a little stanky. I just got home and there's a giant rainbow all the way across the sky, so that's pretty cool. There is a very, very slight hint right there of double rainbow. Good thing I have an anamorphic lens so I can get the whole thing in one picture. I mean, let's be real. This is, in fact, so intense. Abby, there are two pots of gold. Two? Two of them. Hello! Hi! You made it! I'm in Missoula, Montana. You are? In, did you see the crazy rainbow up I there? I pictures on it. Good! As I should. Good to see you! Hey man, how you doing? Good! Do you, you have a Fiesta? I still have my Fiesta. Wow! Fiestamovement.com Crazy. Who I stayed with in Seattle was my Fiesta Movement like manager person, Andrew. Boom! Would you say that's a nice sunset? It's a beautiful sunset. Dang, that is a nice sunset. I don't think I've been in a place with this much open space before. It's kind of awesome. Yeah. And wait, listen. Nothing. Abby bought the little taste test strips that uh, test whether or not someone is a super taster. All right, if you want to just- We're gonna find out if Chris is a super taster. I did it and I am not. It just tasted like paper? We had like mm. a tiny something. So I just put the whole thing? But... Don't put it all in your mouth, just put it on your tongue. You'll know immediately if you're a taste or a super taster. You don't taste anything? No. Yeah. Not a super nope. taster. And evidently you can taste it. So yeah. I mean, it like no, totally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best taster ever. Uh, like boneless chicken wings? Is that what you would like? I think you should get the bone-in wings. Yeah, because I can take care of my own wing an situation. Wing. Yeah. You are getting nuggets. Yep. But I the do most like nuggets. delicious nuggets in Montana, right? <laughs> They're the most delicious wings. So I can't, can't speak for the you nuggets. Can't speak for the nuggets. They're just chicken nuggets. The wings though. But if you're gonna do nuggets, do them well. Do them here. Do them here. Okay, there you go. The answer would be good. So you've been dig you've been digging into the wings. Digging in the wings. How do you feel about them? They're for sure the best wings I've ever had in Montana. Hey! <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Hi, kitty. <laughs> this cat really wants to play with Chris, but Chris is oh, allergic. Sad. Cats know. Cats know. And this one's been following me around, being like, touch me. That's what he does. I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. But before I do, we have to let people know if if people have decided that they like what they see, <laughs> where on the internet should they go to find more of Chris? Well, first they should go to an optometrist. Because <laughs> um, these aren't my cute shoes. My channel's called Sup Daily, and you can watch that if you like. Or okay. Instagram, I post lots of selfies, so if you're into that, Again, optometrist of some sort. <laughs> All right, we'll find those links down there. Right, cat? Right. <laughs>